all right guys uh one model 88 coming at you here uh i just wanted to uh hope everyone had a good weekend uh first of all i uh, just wanted to give you a little look here um a couple weeks ago i had i have several of these i have these heritage rough riders i have every model um except the rancher the carbine i do not have that yet um, but this one here is the four and three quarter. Um, I put the scroll grips, actually, they, these grips came off of my, uh, bar keep, put the bird's head on the bar keep and, uh, swapped the plain Coca Bola grips off of this and put these on here. And then I put the Buffalo nickel, uh, cylinder on this. This is the 22 Magnum. Um, but just safety check here. These are uh, do the half cock. These are unloaded. Unloaded, so we're good there. Uh, I did paint. I do paint the front and rear, front side and the rear notch because my eyes are not what they used to be. <laughs> so the black on black is just kind of tough. So a little bit of white fingernail polish and works just fine. Um, I didn't really want to talk about this one here much. I wanted to let you see this one. You might look at this one and say, you know what? I never seen a completely polished um, Heritage Rough Rider. You know they do make the two tone. Um, models where there's a couple of different versions where you can buy them from factory which i think some of them have the the hammer you know polished or uh bare loom whatever you want to call it i think they're, they are polished i don't believe they're nickel they might be nickel either way they either come with the hammer polished or nickel or i think the cylinder, you know, polished or nickel, and then, you know, the frame, uh, either black or some, you know, polished in the barrel, but whatever. It's like a, it's a two-tone. They do make a two-tone, but regardless, they, they don't make a completely polished model. So, I actually wanted one. Um, so, this is the three and a half inch uh, Rough Rider. It came with the... You know, the original Coca Bola grips, I put these black. These are just these are plastic grips. They're they're not my favorite grips, but I think it looks pretty good. Um whoops. Ah, don't worry about that. These heritage are they're cheap, they're built cheap, but they can take a beating. Um what I really wanted to talk about was how I did this. Um this this three and a half looked completely identical uh, to this four and three quarter uh, before I did anything to it um, like I said all of this get this one out of the way for now so I gotta get a tripod so this camera don't keep going in and out so, but bear with me I'll get there but what I did obviously I took it completely apart I take these Two uh, backstrap screws out here. And then there's one here uh, at the bottom side of the trigger card, and then one in the front. Of course, flip your loading gate open, pull your cylinder out. Once these five screws are out, this comes off, and you have your frame and your barrel in one piece. Uh, so, what I did. Um, I pretty much went to work on this with sandpaper first. Um, I used a little a little bit of varnish um, and paint stripper at first to try to get that original, uh, the original black bluing, factory bluing off of it, and it did work some. It got it got me started, let's say, on um, breaking down the original bluing enough to where. I could then take a 
I used like a lighter, um, a lighter, softer fiber Scotch Brite. I didn't want to really scratch it, scratch it. But at the Scotch Brite between that Scotch Brite pad and that got most of it off, and then I did use the steel wool. I steel wooled it dry, and then I also steel wooled it wet. Um, don't mind my towel here; it's dirty. That's this is my work area towel. <laughs> so, Got a lot of gunk on it, but um, of course, then I did um, after the original bluing was stripped. You see, there's some areas that are not perfect, it's hard to get into. I did 90% of this by hand. I did try to get into the, the real fine areas with my Dremel, and that worked some. Um, well, I'm rambling now, but anyway, after. After I did uh, strip the bluing, of course I hit it with, I think six, seven, maybe eight different um, grains of sandpaper. Um, I just, you know, I worked it down, went over the whole, you know, everything metal. I went over it with, uh, I think there was eight, if I remember right, eight different grains of sandpaper. I uh, started down at, I think, two. 220 and went all the way up to I think 1500 grit to finish it out um, like I said it is not perfect I am happy with the way it came out and then you know after the sanding with the sandpaper was done of course then I hit it with uh, some more steel wool I used a 4 aught steel wool Pretty fine. It's not going to scuff your metal up, your barrel, or anything up. Um, of course, after that, I, as I said, the steel wool. And then I kind of looked it over, wiped it down. Still wasn't entirely satisfied with it. So, I did take my Dremel at uh, certain spots over this. Um, and tried to shine it up as much as I could. And uh, after the Dremel... Wiped it down, got all the dirt off of it, and then since I'm an auto automotive detailer, you know, that's what I do for a living, I thought, huh, let's try some polish on this old girl. So I took some mothers. Uh I'm not mothers is good. It's run of the mill stuff, but it it works. It does what you need it to. I took some mother's polish on uh just a, an old rag. I think it was an old piece of t-shirt actually. Uh, just folded it up and polished it. And as you can see, it came out really, really good. Um, I did hit it with the grinder wheel also, but it was... I think it was a little much for this. So I just I took the Dremel to it instead. I, I could probably perfect it with the grinding wheel if I wanted. But I'm not going to. I wanted kind of a nice... A nice clean look to it, but also that nostalgic look where imperfections didn't really matter to me. You know, this could be better. But like I said, I wasn't looking for perfection on this gun. You know, it's a hundred and I think I paid hundred and thirty dollars for this gun back when I bought it. They're a little more now, but you know, I. I'm happy with the way it came out. The only thing I left black on this. Um, of course the front. The front plastic piece on the ejector there. I left that black. Um, the cylinder. The cylinder pin. I left that knurled end black. And then the trigger. I left that black. And the inside of the trigger guard also. It just was hard to get to and I wasn't worried about it. I think it kind of looks neat. You can't see it from the outside. Like I said, it, I'm happy with the way this came out. And of course, my old eyes. Rear notches. White fingernail polish. Front sight. White fingernail polish. Works for me. Um. Like I said, I'm happy with it. Um, 
And yeah, there were some certain people locally asked me how you do that. And I told them the process and, you know, a couple people have did, you know, either maybe strip the cylinder, made that chrome or strip the frame, you know, either or. A lot of people said they never seen anybody do a complete heritage uh, strip it down. Um, like I said, I do keep this oiled, and that's the thing when not re stuff like this, bare metal. You really got to keep them oiled and keep them in a humidity-controlled uh, environment. See the crown there? I left, uh, left that a little bit black. It looks kind of neat. But anyway, you really, like I was saying, you really got to keep these in a humidity-controlled environment if they're not blue because they will rust. Uh, fortunately, I do have the storage area to accommodate that. So uh, it's not a big deal for me. But just a forewarning, they will rust if you do not blue them and or keep them oiled. It is a bare metal. But anyway, guys, um, it's just a shorter little video here to break down the three inch heritage, the three and a half inch heritage Rough Rider that I stripped and polished you can find a look at it here like i said i'm happy with it could be could be a little better it's not perfect like i said i was not going for perfect on this but nonetheless um i'm happy with it so i hope you guys enjoyed this little video here um like I said, it's not really that hard to do. If any of you own these and you'd like to strip any of them down, uh, do a little tinkering, change it up a little. It's not too hard. Anyways, guys, I um, hope you enjoyed the video. And we will see you on the next one.